Welcome back to the habitation deck. Another beautiful day here in Southern California. I have a big haul of books that I mostly got all from one place. And I'm gonna do something crazy and show them to you. I got, I think, two thirds of Jack Chalker's entire bibliography. So a lot of this is gonna be Jack Chalker Myron. Warriors of Blood and Dream by Zelazny. Today We Choose Faces by Zelazny, the 90s noir pulp edition. Wonderland Gambit with the Fabio cover from Jack Chalker. Old Man's War, Scalzi. The Mask of Loki by Zelazny and Thomas. We're gonna change angle because it's too backlit. Look at that. Fonda McIntyre, Starfarers. Lord Valentine's Castle by Silverberg. His 90s covers were not uh, his best covers. Sphere by Michael Crichton. Jack Chalker, The Labyrinth Dreams. These are gonna be available on a whatnot auction. I don't have a date and time yet, but links will be down below. If you're new to whatnot, if you sign up with my link, you get 15 bucks free credit that goes towards whatever you purchase from me or from anybody else. The next sale is gonna to be tomorrow, Black Friday the 24th, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Gonna be a bunch of this stuff and a bunch of stuff that you've seen in previous haul videos. The War of Shadows by Jack Chalker. The Web of the Chosen by Chalker. My favorite of the Chalker covers and uh, the one that I've been most tempted to read. Warriors of the Storm by Mr. Chalker. Warriors of the Storm by Jack Chalker. Life Form, Alan Dean Foster. Have you ever seen anything more 1990s? She by H. Ryder Haggard, a UK edition. Renegades of Pern and McCaffrey. I got a whole bunch of Pern books. Dragon Quest, I think that's the first one. Is it fantasy? Is it science fiction? No, that is not the first one. I know that this is not fiction. I know that this is not science fiction. How could I not buy it though? Steven Donaldson, The Mirror of Her Dreams. I've never heard of this Donaldson. He's the guy that did Thomas Covenant and um, the Gap series. Jack Chalker, Wonderland Gambit. We have a bat cake, vintage, 90s Anne Rice interview with a vampire. Amy Thompson, The Color of Distance. I've never heard of this, but uh, this smacks of good. Heads, Greg Bear. Jack Chalker, Maze in the Mirror. River of Dancing Gods, Jack Chalker. Speaking of, Stephen Donaldson, Gap into Knowledge. Sorry, Forbidden Knowledge. Gap into Vision. Downtiming the Night Side by Jack Chalker. Check this cover out. Ghost Brigades, part of the Old Man's War series. Shadow Dancers, Chalker. The Real Story, Donaldson. This is book one. Book one in the Gap series. Alan Dean Foster, Codger Space. I've always liked this title. Created by Roger Zelazny, Forever After foil edition from Bain. Another copy of War of Shadows by Jack Chalker. Frederick Pohl, The Other End of Time. Shadow Dancers, Jack Chalker. The Wind from a Burning Woman, Greg Bear. Love Child, Andrew Niederman. A vintage horror. You just kind of have to grab the vintage horror books when you find them because uh, it's not easy to do. Hey, another one of these. When the Change Winds Blow, Jack Chalker. Oh my God. Speaking of which, that was the bag and this is the box. Here's a few I got at thrift stores, not this place that I've been showing you. Here's a box set of the Chronicles of Narnia. Not in the best shape, but uh, I'm partial to these books. A nice trade paperback of Naked Lunch by Burroughs. There he is. Time Machine and Invisible Man in this cloth um, notebook style book. 
really nice. Dinosaur Planet, Anne McCaffrey. Dinosaur Planet Survivors by Anne McCaffrey. The Last Colony by Scalzi, also an Old Man's War book. Ghost Brigades, I think I might have already, yeah, so this is copy number two of that. Darwin's Radio, Greg Bear. Nice mass market, good condition. Demons at Rainbow Bridge, Jack Chalker. He had great covers. Horrors of the Dancing Gods by Chalker. Even if you're not interested in Jack Chalker, the covers are just excellent. Volume one, Dragonflight. This is in great shape. This is minty. Book number one in the Dragon Riders of Pern series. Vengeance of the Dancing Gods by Chalker with these fellas. Fallen Angels by Niven Purnell and Michael Flynn. Children of the Thunder by John Brunner. Usually don't find Brunner in these mass markets, but there it is. Alan Dean Foster, Jed the Dead. Presumably a Western. Oh, it's a delirious cosmic joyride. Neutron Star, Larry Niven. Another Demons at Rainbow Bridge. Pirates of the Thunder by Chalker. The pre-Will Smith edition, Willow. Dance Band on the Titanic by Jack Chalker. Look at this cover. It's a hell of a title too. Dragon's Dawn by McCaffrey. Greg Bear, Queen of Angels. Zelazny and Sheckley, Bring Me the Head of Prince Charming. The Return of Nathan Brazil by Jack Chalker. Chalker covers are like Piers Anthony covers, except they don't suck. Echoes of the Well of Souls by Chalker. I know that's part of a series. 90s edition of Burning Chrome by Gibson. Great book. Strength of Stones by Greg Bear. And uh, not so common cover. I've never seen this one before. Outside chance I hang on to that one for myself. The Deluge Drivers. That is book three in Alan Dean Foster's Ice Rigger series. Road Marks by Zelazny. Four for Tomorrow, Roger Zelazny. I have or had a bunch of these in the more vintage liveries, um, but these 90s mass markets have their own charm, don't they? Nor Crystal Tears by Alan Dean Foster. This is one of his famous ones. This is the first in his Thranks series. Uh, and I actually read half of this when I was a kid, and I remember a lot of details from it. I think that's a good one. This might have been the find of that day. I, by Frank Herbert, just sitting there for a buck. Can't believe nobody snatched that up with the uh, uh, Fremen cover. This is a collection of short stories. It's unrelated to the Dune universe, but uh, they slapped the Fremen on the front for marketing purposes. Zelazny and Thomas, Flair. Never heard of it. Venus Prime, Arthur C. Clarke. Twilight at the Well of Souls. Jack Chalker with the Pokeball. Gateway, Frederick Pohl. A somewhat middling book to my mind, but a popular one. Songs of the Dancing Gods by Chalker. Dark Messiah by Martin Caden. He's the guy that did uh, the book that Million Dollar Man was based off of. Decision at Duna and McCaffrey, also a great cover. This one I'll probably keep, Noir, by K.W. Jeter. Jeter just is not easy to find at all. I think that's only the second or third time I've found one of his books. Lord of the Middle Dark by Jack Chalker. Guns of the South by Harry Turtledove. And I think that's Robert E. Lee holding an AK. Nautilus by Vonda McIntyre. Never ever seen this one before. Tanith Lee, Biting the Sun. I'm gonna hang on to this one. I cannot say no to Tanith Lee anymore. Mad Amos, Alan Dean Foster, maybe in the same series as that other one. Charles Strauss, The Atrocity Archives, with a just god-awful cover. <laughs> Speaking of 90s, this has to be 1998. It just has that feel. Oh my god, how wrong am I? 2009, Jungle of Stars by Jack Chalker. Lords of the Middle Dark again. Frederick Pohl, Terror. Check that out. Pirates of the Thunder by JC. Another Maze in the Mirror. Exiles at the Well of Souls. 
I mean, look at these covers. Quest for the Well of Souls. Benford, Foundation's Fear. Lincoln's Dreams by Connie Willis. Maybe another alternate history. And finally, Midnight at the Well of Souls by Jack Chalker. New day, new books. Went uh, thrifting and shopping at Footnote Books in San Diego. To save those to the end, I spent like 120 bucks or so there, and I'm really excited. Bunch of paperbacks, so those will be last. Fallen Dragon, Peter Hamilton. This is a book club hardcover, and it's just in immaculate condition. Got this from a Salvation Army. The Foundation Trilogy, Omnibus. The nice Penguin Classics, Master and Margarita by Bulgakov which uh, we will count as a fantasy book to keep it thematically appropriate for the channel. This hardcover of Epic by Roger Elwood and Robert Silverberg. A uh, sort of tattery, I think book club edition. R.A. Lafferty, Le Guin, Simak, Kate Wilhelm, George R.R., Joanna Russ, and more. Really cool Pale Fire by Nabokov. Revenge of the Rose, one of the latter uh, revamped Elric books. Need to go back and finish the Elric books out. I read the first two. The Beatles help the novel. I didn't know that this existed. It's in the Dell old um, flippity flop paperback. What are these called? These little little chody books. What are those? We have George Zabrowski's Cave of Stars. We have volumes one and two of the complete Sherlock Holmes, Neptune's Brood by Charles Strauss in the Mass Market, Prelude to Foundation, Isaac Asimov with a confused looking guy. A UK Corgi edition of Even Cowgirls Get the Blues by Tom Robbins, a man who produced literary fiction or mainstream fiction, I guess, that is the most uncanny valley for science fiction. All of his books from this period have SF covers, look like they should be, and yet are not. Michael Crichton's Sphere, the novelization of the original Gremlins movie. One I might keep, might sell, The Temple of the Golden Pavilion by Mishima. Charles E. Tuttle Company publisher. And it has a yen price tag, interesting. I'll look up how uncommon this edition is and maybe keep it. The Ivan Morris translation. We know my feelings about Mishima, I think. And now the really exciting stuff. These are mostly vintage, mostly science fiction paperbacks that I got from Footnote. Davy by Edgar Pangborn. I'm gonna hang on to this one. I read a short story by Pangborn that was set in the same universe that I thought was really lyrical and beautiful. Uh, this edition of the book makes it look idiotically stupid. Um, it's got the like Peter Pan 70s tennis player guy on the cover and the back makes it sound like a, a rollicking sex romp, something that I hate. Born in a brothel, raised in an orphanage, entranced by music, and seduced by women. Mmm, I should like that for camp value, aesthetically, but I hear that it's actually a really sophisticated novel, and based on that short story, I think it probably will be. And it's not that easy to find, it turns out. Really nice vintage edition of The Dream Master by Zelazny. My favorite Zelazny. Turns out by a pretty big margin. The Lord's Pink Ocean by David Walker. I keep finding this relatively not very common DAW and selling it. And I love the cover. I love the title. I might hang on to this one just because I feel like my luck is running dry. A Merit, Dwellers in the Mirage. I have always loved this cover. Curious about Merit because he's one of the proto weird fiction fantasy guys, was really influential on Lovecraft. And maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't. I reviewed, at least on Patreon, a William Hope Hodgson book, volume one of The Nightland, that's one of my all-timer fantasy books. Totally seduced by that book. I am infatuated with it. Makes me curious to read more of these old weird fic fellers. And uh, Merritt's supposed to be one of the really good ones. His most famous one is The Moon Pool. And I've owned a few, sold a few. Maybe this one I just hang on to. The Gamesman by Malsberg. 
Malzberg's really also not easy to find. And the one book that I've read from him, Beyond Apollo, was great. It was this acidic, searing um, parody of NASA. Doris Piercia, Earth and Twilight, with the Wayne Barlow cover. Am I selling any of these? She's supposed to be very good too. Songs from the Stars by Norman Spinrad. Really nice shape. I'm guessing these are shorts. No, I guess it's a novel. And copy number two. So one of these, at least one book out of these two bags will be sold for sure. Them Bones, Howard Waldrip. This will also be sold because I have a copy in storage. Waldrip is someone I'm really curious about. <clears throat> Last Hurrah of the Golden Horde by Norman Spinrad. I'll probably sell it. A copy of The Vang by Christopher Rowley. I haven't talked about this in a while. It's one of the worst books I've ever enjoyed. It's a sprawling, barely competently written book that has a final little passage that's some of the most gut-wrenchingly uh, brutal and gory science fiction horror I've ever read. If you're into aliens and the thing and stuff like that, it's actually hard to find that kind of material anywhere in movies or outside of movies. It lives in the Vang. Copy of A Time of Changes by Silverberg. Second copy, Time of Changes. Next stop, the stars with the cover of a guy punching a lizard. God, what a cover. I don't know if I have a copy of this. Oh, it's a collection of Robert Silverberg's early short fiction. Brian Stableford, Optiman, with the Joe Rogan cover. Joe Rogan's, plural. Gerard Klein, The Overlords of War, translated by John Brunner. Um, I think this is French, right? It's got to be French. We're guessing French. This story concerns the adventures and time of a gladiator who eventually comes to fight for peace. Imagine such a paradox. It's supposed to be an important book, I seem to recall. The Worlds of Frank Herbert, with a cool vintage cover. Found another edition of this, One on Me, by Tim Huntley. Uh, a not very common utopia, dystopia. And I was gonna sell a copy, and then ended up keeping it, and then finding this right away, so I'll sell one of them. It just looked really interesting. Tanith Lee, Knight's Master. I'm gonna keep this one and probably read it really soon. It's the first book in her Tales of the Flat Earth series, which is a series of stories or novellas or novels, I think all the above, written in a world based off of The Dying Earth by Jack Vance. The Explorers by C.M. Kornbluth in really nice shape. That's a short story collection. He's my favorite of the Golden Age writers. Not This August by Kornbluth. I may keep this one because this, I think, is a novel. Yeah, it's a novel, and I've never seen it before. Kornbluth had a really limited output because he died in his 40s. He died way too young. Super interesting, fascinating guy. Way ahead of his time. Had all the technical competency and mastery of the Golden Age period, coupled with this kind of satiric and cynical vision that feels like it should be from the 1970s instead of the 1940s and 50s. E.R. Edison's Mistress of Mistresses. Um, this one I may also keep. I'm finding that I am very attracted to these Ballantine adult fantasy books, or just older fantasy generally. I had such a great experience reading that Hodgson that I it's whetted my curiosity for this vintage fantasy stuff. Ancient My Enemy by Gordon Dixon. I've read a few Dixons, I found the middling. This one, however, has a couple of short stories that I really like. They're my favorite Dixon material that I've read. The first one, the title story, Ancient My Enemy, Enemy? Ancient My Enemy and The Bleak and Barren Land, the final story, are both great. Edmund Cooper's The Slaves of Heaven. I don't think I've ever talked about it, but I actually have read this. Uh, a friend of mine just bought me a hardcover book club edition because the cover and the title were really cool. And uh, it's not a great book, but it's not a bad book either. It's a nice little piece of pulp, nice little adventure with some cool world building details that I thought was very serviceable. Uh, not a classic, not a standout, but it was pretty good. Avram Davidson, What Strange Stars and Skies. These are, I believe, short stories that are supposed to be excellent. I have a copy of this in storage, so I'll probably sell that one. Davidson's supposed to be stronger in the short form than in novel form. The Radio Beasts by Ralph Milne Far uh, Farley. And this is a very early science fiction novel. 
Originally published in 1925 as a serial in Argozi All Story Weekly. I'm really curious to read stuff from the pre-pulp era. Everything that I read from the pulp era, I am a little bit tepid on, and everything that I read from genre fiction before it, I wind up being sort of infatuated with. So I'm curious to read that one too. Maybe I'll keep it, I don't remember if I have a copy. Ellery Queen, The Dragon's Teeth. I recognize the name. I really don't know anything about mystery and crime fiction. Um, to which genre this belongs. A Fish Dinner in Memison by Edison. I think I only have um, The Worm Ouroboros from Edison, which is his most commonly still read book. But I'm curious about these other titles too. Copy two of this one, also by Edison. So I'll sell one of those and probably keep the other one. The Mazentian Gate by Edison. He just had amazing covers, or you know, not at the time, but I'm sure these were republished posthumously. This one is from 1978. Curious about Edison. People compare him to Tolkien, but more boring, which is saying something. But I want to read more of the old, the old guard, the true old guard. We'll see how many pounds of flesh I cleave off for myself here in these final books. Thanks for watching.